our art session. Actually, uh, we're not going to make an, any art for today because we're talking about what is Dadaising. So, you know what is Dadaising? <laughs> so, ito lang naman ang gagawin natin for today. Uh, I will have a short um, discussion of the history of the Dadaising. Kung saan siya galing at bakit siya anti-art kung tawag niyo. Okay, so Dada, Dada is a revolutionary art. Pag sinabi natin revolutionary, hindi ito yung pupunta ka sa EDSA tapos magre-revolusyon ka na iba ka, ipagsak, gano'n. <laughs> so pag sinabi natin um, revolutionary art, meron silang isang goal at meron silang gustong uh, ipakita uh, through their artworks. Kaya tinawag silang uh, revolutionary art. with mustache um, uh, concert with the costume of the tube so ang ginagawa nitong dadaisin na to is to provoke and to insult and to uh, mock yung alam mong may something kumbaga sa sa modernong panahon kung tawagin natin ay mga memes di ba sa F, sa mga Facebook account sa mga Facebook natin di ba nakakakita tayo ng mga mga simpleng memes na mga pictures. So, may hot ment kung tawagin. So, ganun ang dadaisim. So, may gusto silang iparating sa'yo. Saan? Nag-stood ang art. Opposite siya. Hindi siya more on aesthetic. So, kumbaga, um, basyadong vulgar and, and talagang, yun nga, tulad na sinabi ko kanina na it is very insulting kung mapapansin mo. So, dadaisim is intended to provoke and to insult. Yun ang, yun ang trabaho talaga ng dadaisim. At malalaman mo kagad na dadaisim siya. During the World War I, many artists left their house and fled to the neutral in Switzerland. And in 1916, the poet Hugo Ball uh, have a deal with Zurich, a bar owner, na i-increase daw niya yung beer and sausage sale nito kung hahayaan daw siya ni Ball na i-transform ito sa isang establishment at kung tatawagin nila itong Cabaret Voltaire. So, doon nagsimula ang Um, dadaisim. So, simula nun, um, many foreigners and local uh, would gather at the Cabaret Voltaire, forming the collection of the independent, like-minded thinkers, and this is where Dada begins to form. Marami kasing kwento kung saan talaga nang galing ang salitang Dada. So, naniniwala sila na ang salitang Dada daw ay galing sa isang Romanian word na ginamadalas gamitin nila Shara and Hankos na ibig sabihin ay yes, yes. Lagi daw nila itong sinasabi, da, 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 da. Ibig sabihin daw is yes, yes. Pero sabi din naman ng ibang uh, dictionary, lalo na sa French, ang ibig sabihin daw nito is a hobby horse. So, siguro dahil mapaglaro ang dadaisim at nilalaro ang ating kaisipan, so, pwede, no? So, marami. So, hindi lang sila pang... Um, Cabaret Voltaire. Actually, noong May 1916, nagkaroon sila ng publication ng isang magazine at Ball wrote that Cabaret Voltaire has the sole purpose to draw attention across the carriers of war and nationalism to the few independent spirit who live for other ideals. Other ideals, of course, was this job as the war. Sabi nga ng mga Dadais artist doon sa Cabaret Voltaire, uh, habang busy daw sila portraying a playfulness of a childhood, itong mga adult natin outside doon sa Cabaret Voltaire are busy sa pag-destroy ng mundo. Kasi puro gera ang pinag-iintindi. So the, the movement encompassed a wide range of practices including visual arts, poetry, literature, theater art, and manifesto. Art theory, graphic design, and concentrated It's anti-war politics through rejection of the prevailing standards in art through anti-art cultural work. So, ano nga ba talaga ang mission ng Dada? Manginis lang ba? Mambuisit lang ba? Magbigay lang ba ng mag-provoke lang ng kainisan? Ano nga ba talaga? The Dada seemed they only have one mission and that was to have no mission at all. And at that moment in the history, in the word of Richard, It was just this that gave the moment and its explosive power to unfold in all directions. Marshall Yanko 
said, We had lost confidence in our culture. Everything had to be demolished. We would begin again after the tabula rasa. At the Cabaret Voltaire, we began by shocking common sense, public opinion, education, institutions, museums, good taste, in short, the whole prevailing order. So yung movement na ito, na Dadaism, ay nag-spread almost simultaneously sa New York, sa Paris, Barcelona, Berlin, Cologne, and Hanover. By early 20s, it was pretty much burned out and, and, and subsumed into surrealism or the other practice, but its short life was witnessed across the world through this uh, network of this nomadic and passionate artists. The Dadaism were so young and perhaps naive, they do believe that they can change the world by mocking it. Pero ang alam lang talaga nila, na during that time, the world needs change. If you learn a lot from this video, hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel.